Hello everybody, <clears throat> welcome yes. back to another episode of Cold Steel 4. In the last part, we saw our first set of bonding events and headed back to Bryonia Island to finish off our little exploration there. <clears throat> now we've got some side quests we gotta do, as well as some uh, sealed ch or trial chests I, I need to get out of the way too. So I'm also do all that and get all that out of the way. Uh, first off, uh, if we go back to Bryonia again, I know. Uh, come back to the lodge. We'll see Annabelle. Oh, if isn't my favorite, my friends with Thor's. With Rin and Toe, no less. How lovely. What brings you here, old all places? How could I ask you the same question? Bryony Island is far more than a little out, more than a little out of the way. I can't imagine you here alone. Hmm? I I am actually. Is that a problem? This may be an un uninhabited island, but with this wonderful cabin and everything, it's not a terribly inconvenient place to stay. Oh, I guess hardcore anglers see the world differently. There's more to it than that. I came to this island looking for Kenneth, but while I was looking for him, I saw a gigantic fish behind the waterfall at the center of the island. I've never seen a size that big before. Phew, just thinking about it was making my angler blood boil. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, easy there. A giant fish behind the waterfall? That's worth remembering. New fishing point. Wonderful. So if we go out here now, we got a fishing point over there. Which I will... It's all about fishing. But, uh... I'll do it later. Shit. Talk to her again once more. We got the shot. I'm so damn poor. Oh, 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 oh. I think once I get close to the end of the game, I'll do all the fishing. Fishing, all the palm stuff. I'll do all that when I get close to the end of the game. But for now, uh, we need to go back to the bridge. Um, got trial chest, so I need reading crow in my party. It's nice if you teleport to these. Alright, reading Crow, let's do it. Oh. It's, a, it's another creepy Crow. Oh, I'm paralyzed. That's wonderful. Right off the bat, huh? Yeah. Alright. Sweet. Criminal Edge and everything. I'd imagine that's, that's only available for, uh... No, it's still available. Nice. Alright. Let's check this out. since I can't do anything. Criminal Edge 
Criminal Edge is his highest thing for break, and it's his highest damage power. These out of the way, why not? Alright, so for we've got Chaos Raven. Ooh, damage. Ten turns, twenty percent. Damage reduction. So it's kinda like Reigns, except his is CP, while well, his is restore HP and EP. Damn. Did I read that right? Was that 20,000 damage? Holy shit. I did read that right. I'm paralyzed again. God damn it. Man, you're just out of range. I'm sorry, buddy. Damn, guy. Alright, Gold Dragon EX. That is done. Alright, for the only other track chest I could do, which is there, I need to use this in Machias. So. Back to the bridge. Organize the party. Get use of Machias in here. Should go upgrade their equipment before I go in there. Cause they could use some new armor. But then poor. I'm selling shit. Screw it. I'm gonna sell my stuff. If I, I could always just buy them. Of course, I could just <coughs> buy them to DLC, which I kind of don't want to because it's considered cheating. Uh, fuck it. I'm gonna cheat. I'm tired of being poor. It's not gonna last very long though. <laughs> one, two, four, or just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Christ!
See? All that money didn't even last long. All that money did not last long at all. Huh. When did I run out of U materials? Wait, what? <clears throat> I had over a hundred U materials. What the hell? What happened at all? Hello? <coughs> when did I run out of U material? I had like oh, I had almost two hundred. Um, hello? Did I spend it all? Just not realize? Um. All right. Oh, I no, I could not have spent it all. No, I refuse to believe this. I'm I'm so I'm so confused, but whatever. All right, is this what what kind of ornaments do you got? Um, I don't really need you for break. Um. Uh, EP1, I don't need that really. Earth Pulse, I can probably place with the per Earth, Earth Pulse. Excuse me, Earth Pulse R. that on there shining I've got shining art don't I I do
Alright, use this Machias, make yourself useful. Like, hello? My headphones. That was weird. I feel like. Alright, uh. Let's scan him. Yeah. Alright, he's super weak to fire. Fire and... Something I don't have, which is unfortunate. You've got stuff though, so... Make use of this. Get to go again! Art support! Thanks, buddy! No! I'm immune! That would probably fate me. Gotta love art support. Rude. A little bit there, buddy. I could have used it last time. Bare energy. Yep, I knew I was gonna do it. Maximize our art stat. That that was stronger than it was before. <laughs> of course, I missed naturally. Now he's fainted. I thought he had a... maybe not. Oh, 
Getting there very slowly. You gonna miss this time? No! Of course I miss, naturally. He's got insight, that's why I'm missing. Oh shit, I meant to use breath. God damn it. Why did that deal so little damage? Justice Bullet! I don't know how he's shooting at him when he's behind him. Really? Seriously? Alright guy, you're annoying. Get out of here. Damn panda. Dread Breaker. Ooh, look at that. That's nice break damage to that. Noble Arc. Alright, let's go back to the bridge. Alright. Put my party back into shape. We got some side quests we gotta do. So. Uh, act two. Got these. Uh, I think I'll do the, this one first. I need to go to the Parm Fire Road. Alright. Alright. 
Just what part of the by road is it in? Go to the Byro 2. Let me see if it's around here. Oops. Uh. No. Oh, there it is. Go, go. It is over there, around the corner. There they are. Oh god. There we go. Are they all doing one thing? No, they're not, naturally. Oh, I guess those guys are in one group. This looks like pink death to me. All right. It's pink death. gonna die already. Yeah. Except for the one alive, it's fine. Protect. Thanks for strength up, buddies. Good thing they almost died. I still need to scan this stupid thing. Of course I missed. Oh, there's more! What?
行くぞ Nice. Fuck the pink squad. How many of them are there? It's just... I can... I saw three pop up. If I could just... Like, finesse it. There we go. I get still a little XP out of this. Deaths all around. Oh, my God, there's more. Seriously, it's like I'm fighting an army here. I killed one. Kill 
They're all too fat, they can't move around. He's gonna die. Alright, please kill these things. I'm tired of fighting the pink death. Can't do fucking Reaper's Whirlwind. God damn it. <laughs> oh, Rain's dead. Close to it. These things out of here. Thank God. Told man it's a pink death. Give her all that XP. Christ, Lord Almighty! <laughs> I received one bonding point. Cool! I can go see crows now. I didn't know I could do that. That would happen. Um. And then I need to go to Parm and Titus Gate. Uh, 
Hello, guy. You're not who I wanted to talk to. Where are you? Oh, you're upstairs. How are you, Thor students? Kurt? Very well, thank you. I haven't seen you in a while, Mr. Gallart. Are you well? I'm not too bad. Thank you for coming all this way. Your students have told me that you, which, all, uh, told me that you've been through a lot. I've certainly experienced some setbacks, but I assure you, I'm completely fine. Even if I do look different now, Shakarina has been very lucky indeed, escaping unharmed. We're watching over and make sure he does not do fi not find himself in trouble again. Yeah, it's totally Constructor Reen's fault that we're doing this. That's right. We're all taking turns keeping an eye on him. Please don't worry. <laughs> Guy's got no choice. Indeed. But you won't be a, won't be bored when it's my turn, isn't that right? Come on, you guys. <laughs> so if you got a bunch of students watching on me like hawks so you don't get yourself hurt. Jokes aside, I'm glad you surround yourself with such sincere friends. <laughs> it's been a while since it's been ages since I had a good laugh. Oh man. Feel more embarrassed by the minute. Anyway, a lot's happened in Parm, hasn't it? You mentioned there was something you wanted our help with? All oh, right, I'd nearly forgotten about that. You see, something suspicious has been going on in Parm lately. We've had to comply with military requisitions a few times, which, of course, is understandable. But besides that, we've also been called upon to donate for a subsidiary subsidy fund. Yes, you mentioned that in the letter. It's a charity fund that's for struggling families with conscripts, right? Yes, that's right. It's mostly for the area around the capital. If the only worker is in the household is drafted, the family's income disappears, right? And there are there are re remunerations from the military, but it isn't a lot. Additionally, it isn't delivered immediately. Here in the countryside, we help each other out, sharing our homegrown crops and such, but city people can't do it without Mira. So, this fund has been established to help them make me ends meet, pay their rents, feed their children. I see. So, it's a social security program funded by charitable donations. Yes, exactly. We're not rich by any definition, but if those city families are to starve without our help, then of course we donate what we can. Then, one day, I was taking, talking with my friend from the capital. You know, this was such a high-profile program, we had apparently never heard of it. Hmm. Maybe he didn't. He just maybe he just didn't hear about it somehow. It's possible. Heimdall is a big place. So maybe the subsidy program hadn't been publicized where he lived yet. But it still set off alarms in my mind. There's no way. But if you could look into this for me, it would put my mind at ease. Structurine. It does seem fishy. Sure. I think you may be onto something. We'll ask around and find out what's going on. Thank you. It'll help a lot. Everyone in town is aware of the subsidy program. I don't want to unsell anyone by asking questions, so if you could do that for me... Sure, no problem. Let's begin our investigation. We shall, but first, I want to do something real quick. We're going to... First off, I need to go back to the bridge and rest up. Or heal up, I should say. Speed through this. All right. Now, if we go to we organize our party once more. Put uh, Diwali and Crow in. Oh, so I guess these guys get level ups too. So it doesn't matter if I use shiny palm drops or not, because everybody else is gonna get levels as well. That's just fantastic. So much for trying to catch up and level. Child in Merkaba. Go to Aaron Village. Go to the spring. Come in here. Enter the hot spring with Crow and Devolve to trigger a sub event. Yes. I should do that. I should do that cool event too while I'm at it. Re and the others enjoyed the hot springs and took their time resting in the village. By this some stroke of fate, an unexpected combination of people ended up soaking in the springs together. Huh. And there's the hole in his chest. Ah, nice and steamy, just how I like it. 
I have to agree. I've had my fair share of hot spring visits all over the con continent with my, with my lords and, and with, with my lord at Ennis. There's not much better for relaxing the body after a long day of intense training or battling. You travel far and wide for your stall rider duties, I assume? Even outside of Erebonia, huh? You got that right. I've been to Elmo Springs and Liberal for just, for, for just, just one example. And Calvard is Eastern style hot springs galore. They're practically flow into each other. I heard about the same from my master too, but yet I haven't been able to be, haven't begun to see them for myself. <laughs> that hot spring mania of yours is in full swing, huh? If you've even seen your mirrors, you've seen them all, don't you think? Not even close. The water differs from region to region. Each one's got its own unique charm. Are there any hot springs in your eye? You bet. Ever heard of a salty hot spring? That's our claim to fame. And being in the north, you've got your pick of awesome saunas. Oh, a sauna sounds rather intriguing. It may be worth some investigation. Wait just a second. Why am I luxuriating, luxuriating here with you anyway? How long have we... Where did everyone else even go? A funny question to ask when we've already been here for a good 10 minutes. <laughs> I imagine the colors are probably all finished when we're relaxing outside. So, what I'm picking up on here is that Duval the Swift is, much, is just as much Duval the Shy and Innocent. I bet the Eisen Rider of Legend didn't bother with separate bay at bass with, with men and women. <sighs> yeah, now that you mention it, I'm pretty sure that the concept straight up didn't exist back in the olden days. The baths were just the baths for, just for everyone. So, for some that adhering to time honored traditional values, there's nothing inappropriate about mixed bathing. Well,. Times have clearly changed. We still don't, we don't still live in caves. Sweet, nice. All right, I think that's like besides the cryptid boss, which I'm getting close. Well, let me look at my levels. I can probably maybe take it on. Eh, I could take it on later. I'll probably do the the uh, big cryptid bosses on its own, on their own separate part. All right. With that out of the way. Back to Parm. All right. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. So I got it over there and the jar and the private home. Start your ring. I'm so glad you're all right. It's good to see you. We heard what happened. Though I could hardly believe my ears. Are you sure you're alright? You might not think it looking at the new hair color, but I promise I'm perfectly fine. Louisa, thank you for taking care good care of my students. It was a pleasure having them around. It reminded us of our time with Mint. We're always happy to help a friend in need. Especially when we can put the two people we're taking care of to work. <laughs> They've been such a wonderful help. It was nothing really. Just sorting sales slips and things like that. They've been very kind to me and Kyrie. All oh, right, Kyrie's in Parm too. Yeah, he showed up just as Pablo was leaving. Um, did you come to ask to ask about those subsidy donations? Exactly. I take it you're familiar with them. Someone distributed flyers around town asking people to donate to the subsidy fund for soldiers' families. Lots of people are chipping in, Jerome included. I'd have I'd have to be heartless enough to sympathize with the families left behind. Eidos knows how long it'll be until those kids can see their dads again. It's hard on them emotionally and hurts their family's finances too. We don't have much to offer, but every little help bit, bit helps, right? I see. And has anyone from out of town said anything about this subsidy to you? From outside Parm? Well, 
Come to think of it, merchants from St. Ark didn't know anything about it. Hmm. But the freight company employees do. That's right. They were the one they were from that new company we've been using. Kleist and Co. people must know what's going on in the capital. More than us anyhow. So it's not only Palm residents who've heard of all, all this. I'm a little surprised that Kleist and Co. is doing some business here though. Thank you very much for your help. I hope my students won't give you trouble. Heh, <laughs> they're nice to have around. Don't be strangers. Come see us again. And do let me know if you need my help with anything. Alright. Let me go this way. Hello, Anton. Ugh, I'm so worried. Something bad might happen might have happened to her. Still haven't found her, huh? Wish I could speak to her. Hear her voice again. Is that the man we ran to Tyus Gate in Michelin? Wow, I haven't seen you guys in a while. What are you doing here? And who's your new white-haired friend? Man, you look so familiar, but I just can't put my finger on it. Yeah, I feel like we must have met somewhere along the line. Aha, weren't you in Trista a year and a half ago? You were looking for love, and I was one of the Thor students who helped find, helped find it. Oh yeah, now I remember you. The hair, new, the hair kind of threw me off, but it's good to see you again. Instructor, is he a friend of yours? Now I'm curious about how you helped him find love. Well, that's a long story. But wait, don't you live in Liberal? Why would you come to back to the Empire now of all times? That's a long story too. Alright. Can't say I'm too surprised knowing you. But about this woman you've been spending your letters with for the past year and a half. Yeah, she used to work at your dorm. Oh. My god. That's who she's talking about, huh? I knew you were searching for someone, but this was not someone I expected. Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. Not that it matters these days. She sent me a letter telling me not forget to forget all about her. But then she cut off communication completely. So instead of letting things go, you came to look for her? Exactly. Sharon, where could you have gone? Given that we face Sharon as an enemy in Crossbell, I can't imagine his dream reading will become reality. Me neither. But I don't have an enemy to break his heart like that. Things are tense in the Empire right now. You need to be careful on your journey. Still, I hope you'll see her again. You and me both. Wish me luck. By the way, I stumbled onto something interesting during my search for Sharon. It's a game called Vantage Masters, but you need an opponent to play. I've got a deck of my own, but nobody challenged. Would you be down for a game? Sure, I'll take you on. It's not exactly a game you can play by yourself, after all. Alright, Anton. Let's see what you got. I'm gonna wet floor with you. You can draw a card, huh? Uh, that's not close enough. That's not a bad hand. Alright. Blix right off the bat. This guy is gonna drain through his deck like you like. That's a high defense card. Oh boy. Get rid of that guy. Whittle that guy's defense down. Buddy, your defenses are failing you. <laughs> I 
attack you. I didn't mean to attack you, god damn it. He's laying out all of his cards. Oh, he's back to full health. Too so far, it's probably gonna kill my fifth now. Yeah, I got a blaze. Can't hit any of his back rows though. Well, I could steal your actions. Oh, I guess I can't really. Um, steal you. You're out of cards, buddy. And... Out of there, get you out. This guy does not think strategy, you put blaze on fire. Oh, shit. Dead anyway, so it makes no difference. Die! He did not. I'm a vantage master. Quite literally, a vantage master. All right, what's going on here? Might be a good chance to ask about the subsidy program. Excuse me, do you have a moment? We're gonna ask about the subsidy program. Of course I know about it. You can't help but pity them, can you? Having family members drafted and ending up in need of mirror on top of that? Not to say we're all well off, but we're still working and I have enough to eat. I asked my husband if he thought he we could make a donation and he told me to do as I pleased. He even brought out his mother's septium heirloom for me. Heirloom means a septium? That sounds quite valuable. The people raising funds for subsidies access to donate antiques or any precious goods made from septium. 
out of that or works of art or musical instruments would also do. In other words, items that can be easily cashed in for a good price. Do you know when the donation collectors would be in town? Today, I reckon. I had to take a look at the flyers we got just this morning. Extend a helping hand to, comp to compatriots in need. Will do. Thank you. You've been very helpful. This sounds all very sketchy to me. Alright. There seems to be a link between conscriptions and military subsidies. I wonder if to ask if they know anything. Subsidies? Hmm. Can't say I know anything about it. All we do is look after the collected goods that can keep an order keep order in town. I see. Got a strange message the other day though. Told us not to interfere with non military groups carrying out their own collections. Huh? What could that be about? Hmm. Is that all? You better get going then. You seem to be tourists, but as you can see, this country's in a difficult spot right now. It does seem like we will not ha find any more information here. Something's really fishy though. Parn's residents just accept the collections, believing they'll be used as subsidies for the soldiers' families. But if that were the case, why is the military turning up the, turning up the noses at items that aren't of particularly high value? I see what you mean. You're collecting antiques, works of art, finely crafted products, and musical instruments. Right. Most people can't tell how much an instrument, for example, would be worth. Second-hand dealers in St. Ark might be able to appraise them. But the traders of St. Ark haven't heard of the military subsidies. And why would they choose Parm instead of St. Ark to collect them? There's something suspicious going on here. If we could only check it out for ourselves. Instructor, look at that! Is that what I think it is? We should have acted faster. We can still catch up if we hurry. Come on, everyone, after them. Right. Where are you guys going? Get your ass back here. Where am I going? Way over there, huh? Yes. Go, go. Good thing I've got my chance to handy Danny. Oh. あ、あれが噂の。教官は初めてでしたね。ガルガンチア級飛行戦艦です。南部から東部を紹介中の第二飛行艦隊ではないかと。Wonderful. Oh, he's being attacked. Yes, get away from me. That's monsters. Why are they doing? What are they doing this close to town? Actually, we can figure that out later. Everybody, get ready. I gotta fight three rhino sliders. Are you serious. I don't have to scan them again, do I? No. Thank God. Act our team heal. So it upgraded. Nice. That was easy. Phew, I thought I was gone for sure. Thank you all so much. I owe you my life. It was the least we could do. Would you mind if we ask you some questions? Hmm? We have some concerns regarding the subsidy funding you've associated you're assisted with what you've assisted with. We appreciate your cooperation. 
Huh? How do you? Well, that was spectacular. Thanks to you, none of my goods got damaged. Not even the real stuff. The worst students sure are the real deal. It's you. And aren't you the Clyde Small representative we met in Ortis? Sales manager Wads, right? I remember now. You were the one convicted for that arson attack and later punished by Chairman Hugo. <laughs> well, yes, but no use in jigging with the past, right? Something here doesn't feel right. Can you tell us why you're driving that truck in the first place? What do you mean, why? It's my job. Gleis and Co. are branching out into the rare, rare, rare metal and fine art inst industries. Industries? So the cargo you got from Parm was. That's right. It's all part of our plan for long-term growth. Can't believe one little excuse was enough to get me so many fine products. Basically for free, too. 100% profit, here I come. You're insane. That's going too far. Master, Mr. Sales Manager, should you really be telling them all this? No need to worry. Even if they were to tip anyone off, it'll never come back to bite me. That's true. The hundred police told us not to interfere. You must have some kind of connection to the military. <laughs> My feathers are a thing of the past. It's all smooth sailing from here. They're the ones out in the field are the only ones in the know. It's enough to keep this operation running smoothly. Thanks for all your help, kids. I saw my whole career flash before my eyes. I thought I was over for sure. Same thing happened two months ago. Feels like we still got something to finish business between us, though. How about we all meet up with the Imperial Defense Force and discuss it together? Oh, man, that's low. I don't know how you can make threats like that with such a straight face. So let's come to this, huh? This man's impossible! Oh, who's this? Oh! Hugo? Wads, didn't you get my message? Part of the agreement between the government and the nobles faction, we have no choice but to leave them be. Don't do anything you might regret later. Sorry, sir. You know me, just trying to keep the business running. Ah, yes, about the new industries we discussed before. Due to concerns about their growth potential and sustainability, not to mention ethics, they've been suspended. Effective immediately. From what I've heard, you've acted without my approval. Rest assured, I'll be launching a full investigation of the matter. Uh, another one? Uh, where am I gonna go find another business plan as profitable as this one? I just don't understand why anyone would get one to give that up. Oh. Unless. Was it too brilliant? Did the others get jealous that they didn't think of it first? Well, I guess that's the price of a genius. If you'll excuse me, I better be on my way. They can investigate me all they want. Just so long as you don't forget, I'm the one who's driving up the whole company's earnings. Adieu, until we meet again. Oh, God. It's... What happened to Mr. Wads? He's been with the company ever since the beginning, and you always had such much, so much trust in him. <laughs> the speed at which he left only points further to his guilt. At the very least, we were able to expose his unethical business practices. Yeah, and that he was acting without Clyde and Co.'s consent. I wasn't expecting to see you of all, all the way out here, Hugo. Your company is going through some rough times, huh? <laughs> yes, quite the unexpected reunion. I don't go looking for trouble. It just has a habit of finding me. But since you're here, I'd be a big help if you could tell us what's going on from the government side of things. If you want to negotiate, I hope you're bringing something onto the table yourself. I hate having my time wasted. Parma has been comp compensated for what happens. I assure you, there's no problem there. This thing with Waz is no more than a bump in the road. But Hugo, any way you look at it, this is the great twilight at work. Even if that's true, it's none of your concern. Besides, Rain, I don't think you're in any position to lecture others about taking care of themselves. Don't push yourself too hard, old friend. Thanks. Does that mean you really do know what's going on? I'll leave it up to your imagination. Just be careful, okay? And if you run into Becky, give her my regards. Don't just stand there, Bly Bells. Get a, get the car started. Or are you planning to make me walk all the way to Parm? You can do with the exercise. I don't realize you're planning to handle this personally. We'll prepare the departure at once. Driver, get your truck moving pronto. 
Yes, sir. Just as rough as his employees as ever. But he seems different somehow. I wasn't able to detect any change. However, you are more familiar with him, so I will trust your judgment. More importantly, we uncovered the truth that's behind the subsidy fund. We should head back and have report in. Good idea. Let's go. So the subsidy fund was a scam. Yeah, it seems that it was the work of some of the employees from Kleising Co. The problem is, with the government backing them, they'll be tricky to make our findings public. Oh, don't worry about that. I received an official apology from Managing Director Hugo himself, as well as compensation from all this. Fortunately, most of the collected goods have already been sold and can't be recovered. That's quite awful. Some people donate family heirlooms and other, sen other sentimental items. Thank you for your concern, but really, we'll be just fine. Thanks to this, the scheme has been stopped, at least. You've done sterling work. I'll speak with the townsfolk and explain the situation. Thank you so much for covering the truth. There are still other cases of injustice and abuse of goodwill and power, I'm sure, but that's one less. Mr. Gallard. Anyway, it's time for me to get back to work. Thank you for, for your time. I know how busy you are. I'm afraid there isn't much I can do for you, but I wish you the best in your endeavors. Thank you. It's definitely time for a break. Your encouragement is appreciated. Nightmare 2! Oh, could this be... Just a second, let me turn the video on. Hey, we're good. Just taking a breather. And you? Well, I've just received some info you'll sure you'll love to hear. We got word that one of the missing students has been spotted. Really? Really? So, in light of these new findings, do you mind returning to the ship and discuss our next course of action? Not necessarily right away, whenever it's convenient for you. Got it. We'll see you soon. We're finally getting new leads, although we still have more, some requests to attend, to attend to. Don't stress over it. We can get it all sorted out on time. We'll head back to the ship when we're ready. We will! Uh... Next thing I need to do <coughs> is this one. Uh, I need to go to Titus Gate. Where did I need to go? Rest area. Uh, there you are. Hmm, I must have dropped it then. It's the only explanation. However, I can't get through the checkpoints to recover it now. Ah, uh, how can this be happening? Excuse me, are you Orvid? You placed a request. Have I met you before? Anyway, I'm just so glad you came. I had this very rare amber ambergris. Ambergris is used as a special ingredient in, in the most amazing dishes. But there was a hole in my bag, and it must have fallen out. Losing a legendary green like that is the worst mistake I've ever made. For a food merchant, this is as close as it gets to losing your life without losing it. You really are my last home. Could I beg you to go and find my Ambergris for me? He's certainly making it harder and harder to say no. Please calm down, Orvid. We'll help you with this. Are you serious? Great Eidos must have sent you herself. First, there's something I want to ask. This mysterious ingredient, Ambergris, you said? What exactly is it? And how is it used in cooking? Yes, of course. Let me explain. Ambergris is the kind of stone created in the intestines of whales, or in layman's terms, a whale turd. And you say this is edible? What? You put anything like that and your mouth is just filthy. Now, now. It has many uses. Medicine and perfume are just a couple of examples. It's extremely rare, so its trade for trade price is even higher than the same in the same weight in Goldia. The aroma is exquisite, not dissimilar to pheromones. And the taste is singular too. So I hear, once in a blue moon, it can be gathered along the west co the coast of Ortis. You'll find that people know it well around there. Oh, do you think? Yeah, I think Freddy would know this the mo know the most when it comes to this. Do you have any idea where you might have dropped the ambergris? The most likely locations are at Parm By Road and Old Agria Road. I stayed in Parm before coming here. I traveled using both roads. The problem is that there are a total of three pieces of ambergris. I may have dropped them in different places. I would need you to look on both of those roads. Hmm, I see. We'll start looking on Pond By Road since it's the closest. Your own will tell you when you're close by. I'm counting on you. 
Whale turds, huh? Man, people have weird tastes. Alright. Uh, there's one over there. Yes. Investigate. Does anyone else smell that? It's a sweet, rather earthy scent. Where's it originally from? From the top of that rock, I think. What the hell is it doing on top of a rock? It matches up with what we heard about the Ambergris. Orvin really ventured out to a monster-infested place such as this? You should be more cautious. And on top of a rock, too, of all places. Oops, I already went here. Duh. Way down there, huh? Yes. Alright, I need to go up this road. This makes more more sense right here. There is a great substance over there. Oh, you're right. Good job, Altina. The sweet earthy scent. Match the okay. Smell be pleasant, but I would prefer not to handle it any more than necessary. Huh. Okay, that's two down, one to go. We checked all along the Palm by road. I suggest we try Old Agria Road next. This one should be easy. Uh. But they are. Yes. Ika. Go go. Do do. Really? I can't go upstairs? Yes. Oh. It's Freddy! Is that... Freddy find that monster? Seems that way. Look at that thing on the ground between them. It looks like ambergris. We we'll check it out later. Right now we have to help Freddy. Hey, Instructor Rain. Altina, how's it going? Give me just a sec. I'll have this palooka licked in no time. I developed a new tech, especially for thick-skinned foes like this guy here. Armor-piercing thrust! Nice work, Freddy. Looks like you got even stronger. Thanks. Guess all the train was worth it. I've always had this that creatures who die painfully taste terrible, no matter how you cook them. That's why I came up with a way to slay a prey instantly, but I'm still perfecting the technique. You never change, Freddy. He really doesn't. <laughs> so what brings you out here? Just monster slaying, or I'm on my way to Sutherland to meet up with Kyrie and Tatiana. I went hunting for something to cook for dinner and spotted this hunk of ambergris. But that blade fang wanted it too, and well, you can work out how the rest for yourselves. How about that? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Freddy, but we're gonna need that. Oh, that explains a lot. You usually only see this stuff on the coast. I was wondering what it was doing in a place like this. Here you go. Thanks. Orville will be really happy. Glad to get this back. No problem. I gotta say, this Orville guy sounds kind of like my guy. Mind if I come with you so if I can meet him myself? Sure, if you want. Then I'll let's all return to Titus Gate. Here's what we've got managed to collect. Wow, you found them all. I can't tell you how grateful I am. I knew you were protecting the Amber Grief from the monster. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. No thanks needed, my friend. It's not often you get a chance to see Amber Green in such large quantities. It was such a great honor to see something so rare. Freddy sure has an eye for delicacies. It's rare to see someone your age truly understand the true value of something as exquisite and special as this. But that's just the start of rare ingredients. There's this very unusual mushroom called a firefly mushroom. Oh, I've heard that it only grows in areas with septum-rich soil. 
We should definitely see if we can find one. <laughs> no problem. I know just the spot where they grow. Well, we can check off this off. Check this off our list. All right, wonderful. All right, that's all for the side quest. Now, let me go to the lounge. Will this song make you put me into a cutscene? It automatically puts me into a cutscene. I haven't returned to the Merkaba, Rain and the others gathered together on the bridge. They then discussed the information they had made, made its way over to the ship. So we got to lead, lead then. Yes, in the capital of the, of the Lamar province, Ordis. We received word about an ongoing house arrest taking place there. According to this report, two of the custody, custody consists of a special VIP and a faculty member from Thor's. Ordis. I should have known. Muse, your hometown. Feels like it was just yesterday we were there for our field exercises. Though it turned out into a pretty tedious slog, no thanks to a certain snotty aristocrat. Ah yes, Marky Ballad. Though he's no longer the interim supervisor there in light of his latest blunder. When I hear the person currently overseeing the city is... Carl Regnitz, my dad. Given his position that those involved, there's no way he wouldn't know about this house arrest business. No doubt in my mind he's got something to do with it, one way or another. Machias. <laughs> Though it's hard to imagine such a lofty individual acting of his own volition. We don't even know for sure who the, who the, ca the captives are, but even so, yeah, we've got more than enough reason to intervene. Our next destination is decided then. They've got someone's important to us over there. We'll make our first move by getting them back. That includes reuniting you with Governor Regnitz again. Thanks, Reen. And don't worry, I'm ready for this. It's my duty as an inspector to assess my dad's authority and to hold him accountable. If it's the port city you're heading to, I should be able to be of some help. We got a few ties of that place, thanks to Orgy and Kate Syene. I would like to see the situation there myself. I'm one of its local noblewomen, after all. I'm tagging along too. My hometown's future depends on it. Seems our infiltration team's shaping up nicely with you guys at the center. All that stuff is to make sure we're 100% prepared. Well, you guys sure settled that quickly. That's just the Class 7 way. Well, that obviously doesn't apply to me, nevertheless. I'll deign to go along and provide any help you might need. We'll be sure to take you up on that. I'll start playing out an infiltration route and... And... and what? An H hour? Right away? What the fuck's that supposed to mean? If anyone has anything left to do, now's the time to take care of it. Roger that. Speaking to resign, okay. We're not ready yet. First off, over here, report. She's on the computer, yet she's in front of us. <laughs> what sense does that make? Ooh, true gladiator belt. Nice. Ooh, iron winged and lion metal. Alright. I'm gonna give that to Reen. Replaces. What's this? Ooh, nice. Now, since I have the crow event, I'm going to use this bonding event. Hey, crow, I... Wait, is that Blade? Yep, first time I've touched in a while. I've been looking for someone to play with. Help take my minds off things, you know? But I guess his glory days are gone. Empire's got a whole new card game. Card game craze now, huh? Yeah, it's actually called... It's called Vantage Masters. I guess you wouldn't be super familiar with it since you're still, still Siegfried back when it came on the scene. Ah, true that. Guess that makes me an outdated old fogey now, huh? Eh, what the hey. Might as well try learn and play how to play. Get the old noggin running up and running. So Crow wants to play pick up Vantage Masters, huh? It'll probably be as good of a teacher as any. Sure! I could teach how to play Vantage Masters if you're up to it. After all, I am the Game Master this time around. Ha! You got me there. Learning something from you might be a nice change of pace for once. Well... Don't just let me stop you. Teach away, Instructor Reen. 
All right. All right. So we got these na na Nadio card, Nacial cards, each with one top, one top four type of attributes, magic cards and master cards. Looks to me like the battle begins the second you start constructing your deck. Right, it's important to maintain balance, but a riskier approach might build us with a specific architect in mind. For instance... Oh, I see. So this card combos off that other one. Right, so they you'd want to hold on to them until you're right, they're both in hand. Using your cards in suboptimal situations just because you can make some major doom displays, just like in Blade. In other words, timing is everything. I get you. Alright, I think I've got a pretty good hand on this now. Want to try a real match? Absolutely. After all, actual competition is the only way to learn, right? Ho ho! Now you're sounding like a real instructor. Let's get started then. Go easy on little old me, alright? I will. Instructor's honor. Alright! However... I activate my cry a bell skill. Your front row's out of here! Ouch! Should've seen that coming. You're picking this up so quickly, it's insane. Too insane. Are you, you're not a beginner at all, are you? <laughs> guess the cat's out of the bag. I mean, technically this is my first time actually playing. Those Zephyr guys played it all the time during the breaks back at the workshop. Sometimes I'd watch their matches. I guess I managed to pick up a few things. General rules, effective strategies, that kind of stuff. You are able to put this well just by recalling the match you watched? So you're playing dumb from the very start? Also, you can hustle me? Forget Crow, you should start calling you Shark instead. Hey now, mind games are half the battle, no? You keep acting all soft like that, you'll never get anywhere. Oh, don't worry, I know. Strengthen my ranger, Blaze, then use her attack to detect to a cry a bell, destroying her. The hell? Wait, don't tell me you, hit, you read me all along. Like a book. I like to think I know you well enough by now. I just made sure to keep a few tech cards in hand, just in case. <laughs> oh man, you straight up crushed me there. I guess you did well, you did have a whole year and a half to make some headway though. And look at me, just treading water while you sit you sail right past. That's all I can do, stand, that's all I can do to stand shoulder to shoulder with you. That was the goal. Besides, you finally managed to take a few steps forward, forward yourself, and my control is dead. God damn it. Oh, where's my other controller? Go. Swapped out. Yeah, but I have you guys to thank for that. That's why I have to stick this out. Right until my very last breath. I'll be counting you out there, buddy. You're out there, pal. Last breath, huh? I don't know, it's Crow! Same here, Crow. Glad to have you back on the team. Knowing him, he'll have some- you'll figure out some way to add more interest. Alright. Nice. Wow, this bonding event's almost maxed out too. I'm like Duval- well, I guess Duval always makes sense. Alright, uh, I think that's all the optional shit we can do. Unfortunately, it came at a wrong time because I'm about to end it and because I'm hungry. Huh. Besides, I think we just finished up all the optional stuff. Uh. I don't think I need to rest. Yeah, I should. Let me go and charge up my CP. <sighs> I'll probably be back in like an hour or so. Well, thanks for popping in very sh for the brief amount of time. <laughs> Alright, and uh. Yeah. 
with that, um, let me just make sure. Actually, hold on. Well, no. Never mind. Alright. With that, we are done with the optional stuff. So, I'm ending it here. When we come back, we will progress with the story. And see what happens. We gotta go to... Where the hell we gotta go? Oh, we gotta go to Ordis. God damn. I for almost forgot already. So yeah, we'll do that in the next part guys enjoyed it and I'll see you then later